Look, just a quick one from me. This this really is that I'm getting off. As I say, I've got serious concerns about the, the fleece. I'm worried to death that one of you is going to bump me to the wife. And she's on her way home now. She'll be home any time now. So I've got to wrap up today. If she catches me filming in this, I don't know that she's keen on me filming and being on it anyway. But if she catches me in her dreaded fleece, or my fleece that she dreads me wearing, I'm in massive trouble. And I mean massive trouble. It'll be doghouse all weekend, and I don't need that on a bank holiday weekend. But as I've said previously at the end of one video, this is just a very quick thing. Um, obviously, I keep saying the channel's new. It is. Um, I think I've got 11 subscribers. Thank you very much. I've never asked anybody to subscribe. I've had two or 3,000 views, but there's about two or 3,000 videos, so that's not many views. But if any of you like what you see, and just like an old, the idea of an old fart like me moaning, uh, though I don't want all the time, but I do tend to much of the time, on covering a range of subjects, because the range is massive, just subscribe, join me. Click that thing where you, you know when the new videos are coming out, and all I would suggest is look at the title on each. If it's for you, watch it, and if it's not, pass it by, not a problem. But what I was gonna say is, I mentioned it the other day, if there's any subjects at all, anything, that you'd like me to have an opinion on, just to hear what it is, just to see if it matches yours, just to see if I'm willing to say all the things that you're not willing to say, ask me, put it in a comment somewhere, or the comments on, on this one, and I'll cover anything, anything at all. I can talk about anything. Two spiders walking up a, up a wall, I can talk about it. Two snails crawling across, across the floor, I can talk about it. Anything. Just ask me, it's not a problem. Um, I do need to get bigger. I do need to put my name about. I need to to get people to push me now. I've not pushed it. I've always it's always been underground, as I say. I never wanted my wife to know. She knows now that it exists, so that's not a problem. My idea is ultimately to monetize this, even though I only talk to people and do nothing else and don't put a lot of an effort in, as you can see. I'm not at a shave and no editing and no music and no nothing. But I do want to earn something from it, but I do want to get some kind of following because I want people to talk about the things I'm talking about and comment on them and maybe fall out with one another. And in the main, let me know if I'm right or if I'm not. I mean, I did a video yesterday, you may have seen it. Um, a guy was on TalkSport um, and they've actually published it because he did a five minute thing with him and it was good. Um, and it was his opinion as to how Man United are faring this year and how he feels they're not doing as well as people think and how they won't make top four next year. He raised some great points, and on some of the points I agree with him, but I totally disagree with him on how they're doing this year, and more so on how they'll do next year. I think they'll have a great year next year. I'm a United fan, as he is, but I think he's wrong. Now, because he's got TalkSport behind him, and TalkSport put the logo up there on YouTube, as of this morning, it had something like 54,000 views. I did my little bit, countering what he said, and going through some of his points and adding what I thought was relevant and why I think they will do well. And as of this morning, I'd had 10 views. There is a bit of a difference. But then again, I know I'm not talks, but I get that. But I want to get some people behind me and some people watching it because that, that then puts it in front of more people and more will watch and I want them to tell me if I'm right or wrong. I've done a piece about gender. That's a big hot topic nowadays. And I know it's mainly blokes that are watching the show from what I'm told. Um, but it's relevant to men or women. If you get the chance, have a look at it. I think it's had four views. Um, released it about 10 days ago, and it's about gender, and it's something I've, I've read, something I've seen online, and something I first heard about about three or four years ago on This Morning of All Places, regarding the way some in America are bringing up young children, and now they're starting to do it over here. And I don't get it, and I don't agree with it. And I think if... If 200 people watch it in the next week or so, I would imagine 195 of you wouldn't get it either and would say the same as I'm saying. Um, or maybe even more than that, to be honest with you. But I need people to see this to let me know if I'm right or if I'm wrong before I touch some other topics that people uh, worry about or people have concerns about but are scared of saying. Because they're the kind of topics I want to tackle. I want to tackle the things that make people uncomfortable. Them, say them things that people are scared of saying. But not for the sake of saying it, not for the sake of upsetting the apple cart, but because I believe in them and because I believe many people, especially people of a certain age, believe in as well. And I don't just mean men, I mean men and women there. I did want to, when I first started off about shared toilets, it wasn't great in that I was new to this, I was still nervy. I'm not nervy anymore, I just go with it now. Um, so it was early days for me. But the things I said in there, I think were relevant and were right. 
Uh, and that's something for men and women to watch. I mean, it concerns women probably more than men because Cher Taurus is coming more to the fore now and I know women don't like it. In fact, I've got a story to tell tomorrow regarding gender about uh, a story from a changing room in London that I read about about three weeks ago. I'll share that one tomorrow. It's a really good one, a real good one. If you get the chance, look out for it tomorrow. I think whether you're male or female, you'll sympathise with the person that told the story. In fact, unless you're a bad person, you're bound to sympathise with the person that told the story. Um, anyway, that's it from me. But as I say, if you've got anything that you'd like me to discuss or to run through or to have an opinion on, rightly or wrongly, just put it down in the comments. You tell me, I will do it. Absolutely no problem at all. If you think I've got too much to say, or I'm too full of myself, or all I do is Manchester United, tell me all of that. I won't listen to you, I won't take it in, but tell it me anyway. Okay, bye-bye from me, have a nice Saturday.